So this cheat sheet is everything because these are the things that I'm paying every pay period. The only thing that really change is maybe debt. I'm putting more to that or unexpected things that come up. Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my savings budgeting and YouTube journey. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey hey hi everybody welcome back it has been a while but you know i have decided that i'm going to try to slow down on how many videos i upload but for my returning viewers i want to thank you for watching my last video in the last video i explained that there was a mortgage escrow shortage so i had an unexpected bill of 404 dollars that i you know went through and figured out where i was going to pull that money from but the comments that i got on it a lot of people were saying uh, I would have just took it from savings maybe you should just take it from savings so I thought about it and my response was you know what I think that if I do that I feel like I'm gonna start a habit of continuously taking out of savings and telling myself I'm gonna pay it back but after further review I decided you were right so and I was wrong <laughs> So I went ahead and decided to just pull that $400 from my emergency savings account and I'm just going to replace it. So if you watched that video, if you haven't, go ahead and take a look. I did my March budget and I decided that I'm just going to take that money that I figured out where I'm going to pull it from and put that back into savings. So I did already go ahead and just pay it, got it off my chest, off my mind. So you guys were right and thank you, thank you. Thank you I appreciate it sometimes you just need another perspective and I am very happy that I did make that decision so thank you moving on today is our prepay day prep day yay so this morning I was able to find out how much my paycheck will be this coming Wednesday so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final numbers the thing that I'm glad that I started doing is keeping track of my overtime so that I kind of have an idea of how much the upcoming paycheck will be. So I'm going to continue to do that because that did help out to, you know, better estimate how much the check will be. I've explained before if you haven't seen my videos that I get paid for overtime a month after I do it. So it's a little bit harder to try to figure out how much my paychecks will be. But now that I'm keeping track, it's a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you a quick look at my March budget that we did and you know what one thing I just realized I forgot to do is to transfer my March budget onto my budget breakdown sheet is this March this is not March this is February moving on okay so this was my March calendar that we filled out on that video this was our March monthly budget plan so if you'll see these amounts that i pulled again watch that video for details i'm not going to go over it because i know a lot of you have already seen it and you can pull up that video if you were interested all right so let's get started here is lord i got this all mixed up this month all right that needs to go back in the february so i forgot to fill out one of these for my mark march monthly budget and the importance of this is so that at the end of the month i can go back and see how much i spent in all the categories and it's a lot easier to do the math so i will do that after this video but in the meantime let's get working on the paycheck budget and grab our trusty dusty notebook which i'm gonna need a new one soon i'm running out of paper okay here's a blank sheet so what I like to do is to do my budget on a piece of paper and then I transfer it into my worksheets uh, just because this has been easier for me and it's working so we're going to keep doing what's working. Alright so this is mm -hmm, our pre payday prep um, this is for March 13th through when is that gonna go to this is gonna go from march 13th through march 26th so that's two weeks worth of income all right so the paycheck budget that we assumed or projected that we were going to make is 1500 i went into my employer's website and the paycheck was 1536 so very very close so i'm gonna try to write straight but i feel like this is weird to write like this okay 1536 was what we ended up with so the first thing that we like to do is take out our automatic savings and that's the 175 so i am a big fan of paying yourself 
first if you haven't seen my videos before that is just how I roll I make sure that my priority is me and my savings so that's the first thing that comes out every paycheck no matter what so that 1536 minus the 175 is 1361 and that goes to three different savings accounts and I will show you that quickly So that's 175 $100 goes to my emergency fund $50 goes to my daughter's saving account and then 25 goes to supplement my car note so if you haven't seen that video as well I will link it so that you can go take a look so that should zero out yep so that zeroes out that's savings. So that is my first step every single time. Which honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, that's $100 right there that is going back to that savings account. But, you know, we have to replace it and keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. $13.61, the next thing that comes out is my um, bills. So my fixed expenses. I'm just going to pull that March budget out to help me do this because that was the reason I made it for my fixed expenses we said that they would be 878 but we decided 140 of that is gonna come from our sinking fund for utilities so I'm not gonna include that I just have to remember to pull that amount um, and put it back in the bank let's see all right so 738 is what we're gonna take out for well, we're not going to take it out, but this is how much we're paying in our fixed expenses, also known as bills. Okay, that brings us to 623. All right, so let's map that out. So 738 fixed. Okay, so those bills include, let's do this. Our MAG, which is our mortgage allowance and grocery, you can see that there. So mortgage did go up this year. Not by much, but it did go up. Um, thank, thankfully, I was able to do that mortgage shortage because if I wasn't able to pay that escrow shortage, I shouldn't call it mortgage shortage, it's escrow shortage. If I wasn't able to pay that, it would have gone up by a lot more. So I'm happy that I was able to do that. So the first thing we're gonna take out is the MAG which is $662 at the bulk. And I put this, these all three into one because these come out every pay period as well. $200 goes to grocery every pay period, $20 goes to my daughter's allowance and half of the mortgage as well, which is 442. So that 662 is coming out. Next thing we're gonna take out is Amazon. That's These are all due within this pay period. Netflix. the phone bill and the utilities that's what we're not going to count because we're going to take that from our cash savings and that was so that I could put more towards or back in the savings um, back into my automatic emergency fund $30 oh no we're not counting that because that's dead okay so this should zero out if I have done my math correctly okay that didn't work out $738 Yep, that zeroes out. So I am going to put myself a note at the bottom that the utilities, I need to pay that on payday, but that is $140 is going to come from our sinking fund. I just like to put myself little notes so that I remember. Okay, 623 is what we have left. The next thing we pull out is debt, and you'll see those highlighted in yellow here. Debt is a total of $47. Okay. And that is 576. So let me show you what that is. So $47 debt. Well, you can see it right to the left of me. It's $30 for our student loans. The bill is really only about $24, but I try to pay, actually my goal is to pay $34. If you haven't seen my cheat sheet video, you can take a look at that and you'll find out why. And then $17 is going to go to my last 
Klarna payment. So that should zero, that zeroes out. I don't even need to do the math. So the next thing that comes out is my always fund. So that is $100. Forgot to label that one. Okay, and that comes out every pay period. I did move around some funds for the always fund. And so let me give you the breakdown of what that is going to consist of. This pen is failing me today. Okay, $100 to the Always Fund. So usually what comes from the Always Fund are these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These eight things. So water, pet, health, subscriptions, home maintenance, my daughter's clothing um, savings challenge, birthday savings challenge, and the home goal savings challenge. So we did go ahead and cross out water and subscriptions because, hold on, let me take this out. I know there's just a glare. I can just, I just know. So we decided to take out water and subscriptions because those are going to come from my income tax. I'm going to pay those off for the year with my income taxes. I try to be very, very careful with what I spend my income taxes on. Honestly, I, I got it a few weeks ago and I haven't spent a dollar because, of course, you guys know me. I like to figure it out before I spend any money. Okay, so this $100 is going to go, $10 is going to go to pet, $10 to health, $15 to home maintenance savings challenge, $15 to her clothes, $15 to birthday, and $20 is not going to go into home goals. So let's figure that out. So $10 to pet, $10 to health, $15 to home maintenance. I hope this math works out because for some reason I have a feeling it's not going to. $15 to my daughter's clothes. Uh, 15 to our birthday fund and $20 to home goals so this cheat sheet is everything because these are the things that I'm paying every pay period the only thing that really change is maybe debt I'm putting more to that or unexpected things that come up all right so that's should be a hundred dollars let's see nope what am I missing 10 to pet, 10 to health. Oh, child's beauty. That's why. So my daughter, I am putting in a savings or a, a, I'm putting in an envelope for her for child's beauty. It's a sinking fund. So these are my binders here. It will go into the always fund for that. So every pay period, we'll put $30 in there to pay for her whenever she needs her hair done. And that might not be a priority to everybody, but it's all of our, all of us have different priorities. That's one for me. I'm not, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right, let me figure out what I did wrong. Okay, thankfully that didn't take too long. It's actually only $15 going to her beauty account. There we go. That zeroes out. Okay, so these are in the always fund. It will go out in cash to our binders. So that should bring us down to $4.76 next thing that comes out is our variable funds so these things that i need throughout the week this is also taken out in cash so we're going to do a little bit of changes for these because for the month of march starting tomorrow through april 10th we are doing a no dining out challenge so no fast food no restaurants so before tomorrow comes we're going out to eat today probably sit around and cook some soups and Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. Well, that was budgeted for, so um, let's see. We're going to take out 215 for our variable funds instead of our normal 275 and that's because we are not using that $60 for dining out. So that kind of worked out. I had already planned on doing that for the month. Um, I wanted to give up something, and that's, the, that's what I decided to give up is dining out i do have a caveat um ramadan actually goes from the 10th of this month to the 9th of april i'm gonna go to the 10th of april and that's because on the 13th i had already committed to going out to eat with co-workers and i don't wanna i thought about just sitting there and not eating but that's weird so <laughs> i think that would make some people uncomfortable so we're gonna just you know call that a cheat day and go one day further so 215 for variable fun. And the Ramadan thing is not a religious thing for me at all. It is just um, a good time to, you know, practice some self-discipline 
and also it just happens to be saving me some money so personal is going to get 50 home is going to get $40 for yep. and gas gets 50 which I don't think we're gonna need all 50 but we're that's what we're gonna plan on 45 for entertainment and we're skipping dining out so $30 for miscellaneous so I thought about putting more money into grocery because we're not dining out but honestly I think we're gonna be good and if not we'll figure it out but I think we're gonna be good and I think that because we have a freezer full of food so we're gonna make it work I think what's left is just what we are planning to send to the escrow account so I decided instead now that I know how much my paycheck is gonna be I'm just gonna try to take 200 from each paycheck so we're gonna go ahead and take out $200 to repay emergency fund right so that'll leave us with $61 and hopefully we can take $200 out of that paycheck B for the next one again so there's nothing special I need to write there it's just a repayment so we have $61 left so $61 will go to sinking funds and savings challenges yay because we didn't think we were gonna have anything for that in the monthly budget so let's see what we're gonna put this to sinking fund and savings challenge did I say sinking fund <laughs> All right, so I think I already mapped out what I want to put this towards. Uh, we're going to prioritize gas and grocery sinking fund. We did empty that when we went on our road trip, so I'm going to put that in there. Again, that is just for any time that I've spent our budgeted amount for these things, and I need more for one reason or another. So we're going to put $20 cash in there. We're going to put... Ten dollars in her school fund that's for anything that comes out throughout the year I decided my goal for the school fund is just $100 just keep that basic and then I'm not going to contribute to it anymore we'll use th that money for other things we're gonna put five dollars in her little miscellaneous fund for anything that pops up that I need for her you know just play money for her also five dollars for her and I'm gonna get five dollars for myself my little little miscellaneous fund we're gonna put fifteen dollars in our miscellaneous deposit and i like the word miscellaneous because these other things are for very specific very specific costs or bills or savings so this miscellaneous deposit i'm gonna keep that in my always fund as well i'll show you that for those of you that are new here so i put that here in the back and i'm gonna leave this for anything that pops up that is unexpected like i had the toll bill come up that would have came from that. So I'm gonna start putting a little bit of money in there or if, you know, pet doesn't have enough and I decide that I need something more for pet, I can pull it for, from that. So miscellaneous deposit. Let's see, what am I left with? $6, we're just gonna put that $6 into our $1 savings challenge. All right, and that will zero, zero us out all right so we're done pretty much i'm just gonna color code this all right we're done so that makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see that as well and at the end of the month it it makes me whatever <laughs> i color code it every time <laughs> I'm hungry. All right, so I'm going to, before payday, what we'll do is fill out one of these. The reason that I wait to fill this out for the day before payday is because sometimes I have some money left over from this paycheck that I want to make sure I roll over to the next one. So if the day before payday I still have money in the bank account or I still have cash left, I will decide, you know, where I want to put those things in this budget here. All right, so I think that's it for me today thank you so much for watching as always if you haven't already and you enjoyed the video or you learned something please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe you know join the fam with us let me know if you do subscribe too i do want to say hello to you and welcome you to the family 
But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember it is about progression and it's not about perfection. Thanks for watching again. Happy saving. Bye. I think I said thanks for watching like five times. <laughs> <laughs>